Hey everyone, I'm Liz. And I'm Janice. We're the Meal Makeover Moms, and today we're going to show you how we made over carrot cake. And the reason that we gave carrot cake a makeover, and it's on the blog today, brand new recipe, is because from time to time, people like you, our Facebook fans and our blog readers, will send us a recipe and they'll say, help me, how can you make this healthier? So we got a, an email from Patty, who's a super fan. She's a super fan. She's now a friend. She lives in Rhode Island. She's the mom of two girls. And Patty sent us her recipe for her friend's carrot cake. And mm -hmm. she said, I love this cake, but we need to make it over. And she gave us some suggestions. She's been hanging around us a little bit too long, she I sure, think. She sure did. Hey, before we forget, if you're just getting out to Facebook, we're going to refresh our page so we can see this live video in action. But please weigh in and tell us where are you from? And if you love carrot cake, you can tell us why you love it so much. But we'd love to have a dialogue. Last week we were talking about our corny salmon cakes and we had so much chatter going on. I think our, our broadcast might have lasted a little bit too long. But we're going to talk to you today for about 10 or 15 minutes. And we're going to tell you how we gave Patty's friends carrot cake makeover and give you some of our meal makeover mom secrets. How do we make recipes healthier, more flavorful, more kid friendly? We're not just taking things out, we're adding good nutrition in. So let's start with Patty's friends recipe, shall yes. we? So the recipe was fairly traditional, mm -hmm. classic mm -hmm. carrot cake, and it called for two cups of sugar, yep. a cup and a half of oil. Uh, two cups of white flour. Yes. And then all the other things you would expect in a carrot cake, right. obviously shredded carrots. I mean, that's the great part about carrot cake. You've got the carrots. That's true. That's so you true. get all that vitamin A. And the frosting. See, that was the challenge. Right. The yeah. frosting on Patty's Friends Cake called for one brick of cream cheese, mm -hmm. one stick of butter, and one pound of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar. Yes. Now this is a two pound bag that's like a weapon. This is, yeah, a, this is like be. serious stuff. So half of that was in the frosting. Again, it's a lot. Powerful. Almost four cups. Almost four cups of powdered sugar just in the frosting. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about our makeover. And let's see if anybody has said hello. We hope you'll tell us where you're from. Anybody from Rhode Island, like where mm -hmm. Patty's from. Last time we had my friend Margie. She got online and she's from Rhode Island. So uh -huh. please come in and say hi. So starting with the cake, let's talk about the cake and how we decided to give that a healthy makeover. Well, the recipe called for two cups of white flour. So this was easy. We just said, okay, we're gonna stick with one cup of white, right? but we're also gonna use a cup of whole wheat. And that's something that Patty suggested. She did. Yes, she did. So we did that. Yeah. And you know, you could do two cups of white whole wheat or the, the, the uh, whole wheat pastry flour. I actually didn't find it at my local Whole Foods, I right. think I was shopping around. So we wanted to go with ingredients that were readily accessible to everybody. So half white, half whole wheat. Okay. We also added, for a little nutrition, we added a half cup of pumpkin. Right, well we sure. wanted to cut the fat though. That was Right, the right. Well we went from one and a half cups of oil to a half cup. A half cup, but then we replaced some of the oil with a half cup of pumpkin. And we used the pumpkin puree. Now, Janice, what did you email me this morning or last night? Yeah, maybe last night. I need pumpkin. I don't have pumpkin. Mm -hmm. I always make pumpkin pancakes. And so anything I have left over in the can, I just freeze and I label it so I know like what it is. Because you know what happens <clears throat> with your freezer? You find things in there from, you know, a decade ago. So to cut back on food waste, I'm always labeling things and freezing. So we just thought out half a cup of pumpkin. So we had the combo. We used organic canola oil. You can even use olive oil. Any kind of vegetable sure. oil is fine. But instead of the cup and a half, we went down to half a cup and then half a cup of the pumpkin. That's right. And we have a <laughs> fan from North Carolina, Colonia, yeah. and she says, I see yummy carrot cake. Yes, you do. You do. And what we're going to do after the broadcast is we will update the uh, status update here. So we'll give you a link directly to our carrot cake, to the recipe, to our recipe. We, if you live nearby, feel yeah. free to come over. If you can be here in the next hour or two or tonight, come on over. We'll have some carrot oh, cake that's together. A good idea. Yeah. Well, you know, you, you you think she's joking? No. Yeah. Patty, our super fan from Rhode Island, she emailed us a couple years ago and she said, "I'd love to come over and meet you guys." We're like, "Come on over." Yeah. So she came over and we put her to work cooking and we were testing parsnip fries. 
and Patty was peeling parsnips, peeling parsnips, <laughs> peeling parsnips. That's a warning for anyone. Yes. Who but might she's want to been come. back. See, she didn't learn her lesson. She's been back. That's right. And um, so, anyway, who else is online? Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Thanks for joining us. She says, "Yum." Are you from Youngland? Sheila, where are you from? <laughs> come on, tell us. Talk to us. We're in the Boston wow. area, by Love the way. To have We're in the Boston cake. area. Okay. Oh, it's so good. We love carrot cake. Oh, the other thing we did, you will often find walnuts in carrot cake. Not in Patty's friend's recipe, but we took half a cup of walnuts, toasted them. When we tested it last week, we put them in a food processor, a mini food processor, and we just pulverized them to almost like a meal. Today, we chopped them up into little tiny pieces because it's kind of nice to bite into a little, little piece of walnut, not like a big chunk. Right. Like right here, take a look at this. Like that's that's a big piece that's of walnut. That's too big. <laughs> that's a big. Even that would be almost a little too big. So we want to you know chop it up so we have tiny tiny little pieces. Okay. So but half if, a cup. Can I say that if your children don't like nuts in their cake or cookies, which I have a daughter who doesn't like that, mm -hmm. so I do the pulverizing route. I just chop it up really small so that they they don't see it. So you get the good nutrition, but they don't have to bite into a chunk of nut. And and walnuts are really kind of unique in the world of nuts because they contain the heart healthy omega-3 fats. Other nuts, I mean, all nuts are high in healthy unsaturated fat, mostly the monounsaturated, good for the heart, but the walnuts have omega-3 and we love walnuts. So that's what went into our cake. And we've got cinnamon and you know, baking powder or baking soda, the, the usual, a little bit of salt. Um, I hope I didn't forget any of the ingredients, but again, it's on Meal Makeover Mom's Kitchen. It's on the blog. It's That's on right. the blog. And we have Diane joining us from Toronto, Ontario, Gosh. Canada. Yay. Hello, Diane. Welcome. Sing. Wow, love to have carrot cake. I'm not sure where she's from, but maybe she'll weigh in and let us know. And can I just say that Patty's friend's recipe, when Janice crunched the numbers the other day, almost 800 calories mm -hmm. in one slice right. and 13 grams of saturated fat. That's the kind of fat we all want to be cutting back on. I mean, we're not paranoid about fat. Not at all. We like the good fat, like in the healthy oils and the walnuts and the other nuts. But enough. Enough is <laughs> enough, people. I mean, 800 calories in a slice. Right. That's a lot. And how many calories in our slice? 270. Uh, so you can have two. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, you know, we, we talked about this last week. My boys, oh my gosh, they eat so much. So a portion, we, we figured this is 15 portions. We're gonna frost this for you in a few minutes, live on Facebook. But 15 portions, this is a nine by 13 inch baking pan. Um, a lot of people make a carrot cake in a round and they'll right. make two layers. This is easy, no muss, no fuss, super easy. And by the way, the carrots, we peeled them and then we shredded them on the large holes of a box grater. Yes. Last week we had Jenny, our intern, grating, which comes out teeny tiny fine. I think she got carpal tunnel. I mean, this was like, she was <laughs> she exhausted. Did. We needed Patty. I mean, if Patty could peel the parsnips, Patty could be grating carrots. Any day. So frosting. Newfoundland, Canada. Oh my Karen. gosh. All right. We are like like, we're rocking it out with the <laughs> Canadians today. Oh, love. Well, welcome. Thanks for coming on to Facebook Live to see how we gave carrot cake a healthy makeover. Frosting. All right. Okay. To review, we had in Patty's friend's recipe, a stick of butter, a pound of confectioner sugar, also known as powdered sugar, and an eight ounce brick of the full fat cream cheese. Serious hardcore frosting thing, really crazy stuff. So, what did we do? This is the coolest thing you're gonna see probably all day. Ever, yeah. ever, or at least all day. <laughs> or at least here in this kitchen. Yeah. Okay, so what we did was we took two cups of vanilla yogurt, Greek yogurt, right? Full fat. We used full fat yogurt. We and used, we used a little fat too, but, sure. we, but the full fat, we figured because we're slashing so much. From the recipe mm -hmm. we could afford the full fat and because 15 people are sharing right two cups right and by the way you know the greek yogurt is the thicker yogurt we all well we'll get to that in a second so tell them what we did and i want to give them tell them a little bit more about this yogurt we've got two yogurts here doing a little experiment a little science project so what we did with our yogurts our two cups of yogurt was to put them in a strainer along with a coffee filter and if you, you'd cut yours up, right? right? I have the little filters, the so individual. So you had to cut yours. Yeah, I cut them up. I've got three filters in here. What so Liz did here? that last night, and I did this last night. So mine is a little bit 
thinner than yours. And mine's very thick. Right. All right, and we're gonna tell you why in a second, but what, what happens is when you strain it overnight is that the whey comes out so that the yogurt gets even thicker. Now we're using vanilla, and we're not gonna add any sugar to this, okay? We're just, because there's some sugar added to vanilla yogurt. There's also sugar that's naturally in there, which you get from the milk sugar. So, um, but my gosh, not nearly as much sugar as that pound of confectioner sugar. And this is what, what, what kind of drips away through the night is the whey. And this has some good nutrition in it, calcium, potassium. You can add the whey to soups, you can add it to smoothies. You don't have to spill it out, okay? You can, we don't believe in food waste, so you can totally use that. But check this out. So mm. my yogurt is thicker than the Jan's yogurt. Yeah. And the reason is that I used Siggy's yogurt, which is a skier style of yogurt. So not technically Greek, it's called skier, and it's Icelandic or Nordic. And it's already very, it's we're very international here. here. Do we yeah. have anybody from Iceland watching? Wouldn't Let's that be see. kind of fun? <laughs> anybody, anybody Iceland? South Iceland? Africa. Johannesburg, South Africa. Come on. Wow. I this love is it. So amazing. Is there anybody from Massachusetts? <laughs> People. We need Iceland. Come on, throw me a bone. I know I'm on Iceland. So we anyway, so the skier yogurt is thicker to begin with. Right. Um, Janice used another brand called Wallabies, mm -hmm. which is really good. Any Greek yogurt that you like, go for it. It right. could be the low fat, the full fat, it doesn't matter. The mm -hmm. point is it's vanilla and it's gonna get thick. And so we're going to show you how we're gonna frost the cake with our cream cheese frosting. It's not cream cheese, it's a yogurt or frosting. Or fake cream cheese, fake, yeah. Fake well, cream that's cheese. Even, I wouldn't even call it cream cheese, just say it's a Greek yogurt frosting. That's it? Yes. All right, so, so that's the nice out. thick one, so we'll see oh which one works better. Oh my gosh. Wow. That looks so incredible. And really what we want to be doing for ourselves and our family is desensitizing our taste buds to all of the sugar that we're eating in our mm -hmm. world because you know you go to a restaurant you go to a bakery you get a sweet treat and it is so sweet and it really doesn't have to be so so sweet we've got to get our taste buds desensitized so we went from two cups of sugar in the cake to one cup and it's still plenty good mm -hmm. we went from this crazy amount of sugar in the frosting to just a little bit that's added to that vanilla greek yogurt which is not look good. Right. It does look good. Look oh at that. Oh my gosh. Anyone who says you can't make frosting with yogurt is incorrect. I am so excited to try this. Wow, I'm gonna oh do boy. a little more frosting and then you try the wallabies and All see. Right. So we went to a, uh, an event with Siggy's the other day. They were actually in Boston. We have this cool market. It's called Boston Public Market. It just opened almost a year ago. Yes. And they, it's like an indoor farmer's market. It's all local and they have cooking classes. They've got this cool demo kitchen in there and they hold cooking classes. So we got to go to a Nordic cooking class and we incorporated the Siggy's yogurt into a variety of recipes, including the sauce for salmon. Mm -hmm. We did sauteed mushrooms and we added some yogurt to that. We did the wild mushroom yeah. salad that you add a little bit of the yogurt at the end and it makes this Creamy sauce, and then it was like a stroganoff. Over, was it arugula that we yeah, served? Just greens, over? yeah. Boy, it was good. So the point is, is that yogurt can, you know, it's great for a snack, but you can do so much more with it. Right. Like make this frosting. Mm -hmm. So I will tell you, I left with um, some containers of the the vanilla Siggy skier yogurt, and I said, ah, I'm going to use it. To me. On, on the demo today and then Janice is like I'm gonna use the wallabies and we'll just kind of compare the two so I'm gonna pass the cake to Janice so this is definitely a little bit thinner oh so gosh. it'll be easier and it also could be by the way what is this sure. might make life a little easier sure. and it could be I don't know I put a couple of different layers of my uh, coffee filter I put two you did two layers I did so I don't know if that had any impact it just felt like one was not was not enough. So you okay. know, so yours looks more like a traditional frosting. It sure does. But I'm telling you, mine. I'm gonna get a spoon. Excuse me. You're not going to eat the frosting right off of the spoon, are you? I am not going to double dip. Don't you worry. And I have two spoons for you as well. 
Wow. So you can compare the two frostings. Oh man, you know I am having company for dinner tonight. Well, which, I'm taking know. half the cake home and our interns are taking half the cake home, so that leaves you with... Really? Mmm. Is that so? Yum yum. Huh. Let me mm. think. Mmm. Half plus half. Very good. And not so sweet. The skier yogurt, the Siggy's yogurt, does not have as much um, added sugar as some of the other yogurts, but you, know, you can read Both labels and, and compare. Can I take a little taste? All right. That is definitely sweeter mm -hmm. and not as thick. I think I might mm -hmm. like that better. Really? Mm. Look at this. Now, when the cake is done, Remember, 270 calories instead of the 760, I believe, in the original. Mm -hmm. um, when the cake is done, you want to cool it, right, completely. Then you can add your frosting. So you have to do a little bit of prep. Like, you can make this on a Monday, hold on to it, and then on Tuesday morning, frost it. Because you might think, oh, I've got to get my, my yogurt going. Frost Either it in way. the morning for breakfast? Is that why you said do it yeah. in the morning? <laughs> Whenever you want to frost it. My point being that you want to not forget to do your frosting because you want to let that strain overnight to get nice and thick. Right. Um, wow. But I forgot my point. Either way, I love it. <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say, but I do love this oh, cake. Man. I love, oh, I know what I was going to say. Once the cake is frosted, you want to store it in the refrigerator. Yes. Okay. Because Perfect. this is like a yogurt topping, right? So you definitely want to store it in the fridge. Oh, man. Okay. I have done some things this before is... where I've added shredded unsweetened coconut. Mm. I've added chopped like nuts. That. I've added chopped nuts to the frosting. So you can add to it. You can embellish it. And if you taste the, the skier yogurt, the vanilla, and you think, you know what, I want something just a wee bit sweeter, you can always add a little bit of sweetener to it if you would like. Sure. And if you want a low fat yogurt, you could use 2%. 1%? Yeah. I mean, I would use have a 2% Greek vanilla if I were going to make it with low fat. Look at this. I would not do fat free. No, because no, no. I don't know. I just think you I need a little bit. Free anything. You need a little bit of Ever creaminess. In my life. <laughs> you need some creaminess. Just saying. Can Look I add this. a little more frosting of, here? Of course you can. This is good. Um, so anybody else weighing in, Janice? Do we oh, have I don't anybody? Know. I'm, I'm going to try the frosting. Do we have anybody here from Iceland? <laughs> I'm sure but both taste really good. Diane Iceland. says. Iceland. Oh yeah. Will yeah. you be sharing the recipe on Facebook? Yes. I missed most of this. Yes, we will. We're going to update our status post there right above where you are watching live and by the way wow. I believe on your phone there is a, um, a little button somewhere which says follow and it will if you click that you'll get notified every time we go live and it's our goal to wow. do Facebook live every Thursday of course you know that's late plans Sometimes but not we've been Thursday, doing it we've been doing it every Thursday and it's really been working out great I think next week we're doing Wednesday I think we are going to be here Thursday yeah. so hopefully we'll do that mm -hmm. look how beautiful okay that so, is delicious so look at this oh my gosh it weighs like a ton <laughs> so here is our gorgeous carrot cake this is our makeover and to me the star is the Greek yogurt frosting so delish. Diane, love your recipes as a grandmother. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Diane. Hey, we have a lot of grandmothers things. that are fans oh, too. Hey, we had emails from a lot of grandmothers who take care of their grandkids. We're and all for grandmothers. Yes. Yeah. Um, we have a blog, Meal Makeover Mom's Kitchen. Head on over for all of our recipes. We have a radio podcast called Cooking with the Moms. It's on iTunes. It's also on our website. Today we recorded show 289. Wow. We've been at it for a long time. A long time. And we've written a couple of books, including, we'll show you right down here, the Smoothie Bowl Coloring Cookbook, which you can get on Amazon, but it's also a free download on our website, mealmakeovermoms.com. And we also have No Wine with Dinner. And we have 150 recipes. Kid tested, mother approved. Mom tested, kid approved, mm -hmm. you name it. <laughs> so all those recipes were tested by families to make sure that it had big time family appeal so check those out thanks for watching if you have any questions chime in on Facebook because we're here we're going to be answering them through the day the night the weeks ahead share it with all your friends we're so glad you tuned in today for our extreme carrot cake makeover thanks for joining